We heard about the site from Wayne Hermanson, who's the site manager. He had contacted uh, someone at the Rochester Museum and Science Center when he saw the fossils coming out of the rocks as they were digging. And uh, George McIntosh at the museum suggested that he give the Earth Science Department a call. So he called us at the end of last week and said that there were some interesting fossils coming out. And I came by yesterday with some two of my colleagues, and we looked over the site and decided it would be an ideal place to start the first class of introduction to paleontology. So I have the students out today. They're taking some uh, rock samples, taking slabs of rock that have a lot of fossils on them. We're going to bring them back to the lab and actually put them in storage for a few weeks until we get to that portion of the course, at which point this outcrop will be completely covered by concrete. Um, and then they're going to identify the fossils and use those identifications to, just to figure out exactly how old the rock is. And from the age of the rock, they will be able to determine which formation that they're collecting in. It is an unusual opportunity. This particular unit is, this particular rock layer, is exposed at the Rochester Gorge, which shows almost the entire stratigraphic section for this part of New York. Um, and it's exposed at the Niagara Gorge, but there are very, very few natural outcrops of this limestone because it weathers so readily. So the opportunity of having a fresh outcrop that has a really extensive exposure is uh, too good to pass up. So rather than having our normal first day of class, we're all out here picking up some samples to use later on in the semester. It really is a keys to the kingdom when you have an opportunity to make the construction process relevant to some aspect of student life. And so, you know, geology students get to uh, take some rock samples from uh, underneath the building. I think it's a great, it's, just, it's perfect. That's right. It's very convenient and this is the first time we visited any of the construction sites on campus and they just happen to be digging through a very interesting layer.